This Dark Road to Mercy is about a washed up minor league baseball player who kidnaps his two daughters from a foster home. And so the first narrator is his oldest daughter. Her name's Easter. She's 12 years old. Uh, she knows her dad is a total loser, but she really wants a family and she knows he's her only chance. The second narrator is named Brady Weller. He's an ex-police officer and he's their court-appointed guardian. And the third narrator is a bounty hunter named Pruitt who is out to find these girls' father, Wade Chesterfield. Wade, who's a baseball player, uh, threw at Pruitt in a game a decade ago and blinded him, so he's out for revenge. I chose to set this dark road to Mercy in Gastonia because I grew up there, so I have clear memories of playing baseball and playing outside and, and being a kid there. So to have two children be the kind of the emotional core of the book, it seemed like a natural place to set it. Do children innately know good and evil I think they perceive good and evil, but I don't think they always understand it. And that's why when you have children in these perilous situations, it's, it's, it's exciting, but it's also worrisome. And, and that's what I wanted to do with this dark road to mercy, is put these girls literally at the mercy of this man, their father, who, who may or may not be out to safety.